This is not a rub dunk. Unless. No! Man. Unless you're Sean Bradley. Coming down your you spine, got, though. No! Sean! He had to turn his back. He got quite made bumped out. I don't know. He went over and then he turned his back, and I'm not really exactly sure. you down. Were you surprised you didn't get hit? Uh, I didn't care because I went up strong. I didn't care what kind of contact I was going to get. That was the first thing I was thinking. I seen some, uh, Sean Bradley standing there, and I was hoping he was going to jump. He's gone 12 of 13 from the field. Composure. If you're Dallas, composure. you got to run a play here and get a good shot. Nowitzki for the lead. Why not? Why not, Dirk? Shooting right hand hook in the lane. You missed seven straight. Now you get your last three. You've got a couple assists. You've gotten to the free throw line. Now it's T-Max' turn. Screen by Yao. Sura for three. Good! <laughs> Jim Van Gundy's yelling at Sura. Play. <laughs> he said, calm down. Sura hits the three. He's holding up three fingers. It's a guy who hadn't played in the playoffs in eight years. He's so excited. Jeff Van Gundy knows there's a lot of time left to go. What sir, though, he lets this one go. It's two, row, uh, two in a row he's hit. He jumps in the air saying three, and Jeff Van Gundy saying, turn around and play. The game is not over. <laughs> but that's a great substitution, though, Kevin. You take Bowen out of the game instead of defense. Now you put McGrady over on the... It'll be Dirk Nowitzki. It's quite fire here in the fourth with 24. And don't miss TNT's new original series, The Closer. Mondays at 9, 8 Central, starting June 13th on TNT with Doug Collins and David Aldridge. Jump shot. So he's gone now with a better offensive player than Van Horn. He's gone small with he and Nowitzki. And keep McGrady on Nowitzki. That's exactly right. And Yao Ming now has to guard Van Horn. Finley picked up by Sura. Shot clock is down to 7 for Jason Terry. We got a tie at 109. That is the eighth tie of the game, but has also contained six lead changes. Each team is led by eight. High screen and roll. You're going to see McGrady and Yao Ming. How are they going to defend it? McGrady down the lane and lost the ball. Picked up now by Terry and Dallas. Good transition defense by the Rockets. They got back in time. Nowitzki being guarded by Barry. Getting the basketball. Van Horn, Levitsky with the screen, and then they throw it away. Mike Dalt's now has got 31, McGrady's got 26, Nowitzki's got 24. 115 to play, we're tied for the eighth time at 109. Sean Berry, McGrady to Yao, and that's happened all night long. A great assist for T-Mac, his ninth, and Yao with the game high, 33. Great execution out of the timeout. Jeff Van Gundy has to be thrilled with that play. Jason Terry. Nowitzki battling Sura, vacuumed in by Perry. He gives a cross here. You've only got about three seconds. Dallas does not need to foul. McGrady's got a double-double, and he's two rebounds away from a triple-double. Keep your eye on John Barry. He loves these kind of situations, taking shots. McGrady for two, picked up by Finley, and Dallas now down by... Yao Ming, Van Horn very capable of stepping out and hitting a long jump shot. I would expect Dirk Nowitzki to get the ball in his hands, though. Finley picked up by Sir. McGrady on Nowitzki. This could tie up. That was a big time play. Tracy McGrady had to defend it perfectly. Step back and hit a brilliant shot. Last possession here. Rockets to win the game. To take a 2 0 lead. Oh, Tracy McGrady with 2.2 to play. <laughs> Knocks in a two point shot to give him the lead and maybe a two game to none lead in this best of seven first round Western Conference Series. See, I love what Jeff Van Gundy did on that play. He allowed the Rockets to go full court. He did not take a timeout. So watch what happens. There's, Van Horn does not show up off the screen. you got to get up the floor. you got to make Tracy McGrady pass the ball. Well, that's Look why how far back he is off this play. You've got to make him give the ball up. 
And he didn't do that. And McGrady, you look at this. So <laughs> this guy has been so brilliant, but still a lot of time, 2.2 seconds to go for the Mavericks to get a score. Well, that's why I asked you about Dallas defense, because you knew they were probably going to find something inside. But how they were going to defend McGrady at the other end, that became such a pivotal point. But in the half court, they wouldn't have gotten that shot. So right. Jeff trusted his team to bring it up in the full court. Now, can they get a stop? If so, they take a 2-0 lead. And boy, this would be a tough battle to overcome for Dallas to come back down 0-2. And the good perimeter defender. Howard to Finley. And the Houston Rockets have taken a two games to none lead. And as stunning as last night's win by seven seed Denver was over two seed San Antonio. This one may have equaled it. And now we go back to Houston with a two to nothing lead by the Rockets. How about the resiliency of Houston tonight? It looked like Dallas had got a working margin. Kevin, I think they got it up to nine points at one point in time, but they never went away. Actually, the biggest lead was eight. They just kept chipping away. How about the big shots of Bob Sura to keep them in the game? And then Tracy McGrady's brilliance at the end really stepped over the top of, the, of what Nowitzki did late. Two great star performances. McGrady, 28 points, 10 assists, and 8 rebounds, and he is standing by with our David Aldridge. Otto, coach told me, it asked me if uh, those guys scored, did I want to call a timeout? And I was like, no. I was like, let's, uh, let's surprise them. So we got the ball out. Seen an opening. Uh, Yao set a good screen for me, and uh, I was comfortable enough, I knocked down the shot. This game, you obviously had a big run by Dallas. What did you guys do to weather that storm? It's all heart, man. All heart, determination, man, and fight. You know, we didn't give up. You know, although those guys made a run, we knew they was going to make a run because they were hungry just like we was hungry in the first game. And uh, we just kept our poise, kept digging, and uh, we got this win. It's a big for us. You said that Yao Ming had to come through, be a part of it. What did you see from him? I saw a guy that dominated in the first half, uh, took over the game, took some of that pressure off me when those guys was double teaming me. And, uh, you know, he, he established the pro's presence uh, early, and uh, that's, that's, what's got, that's what got it rolling. And it opened a lot up for me in the second half. You know, those guys were collapsing on me, and I was... Great player, Doug, to a great winner. Well, players become great in playoffs. You, it was too much Tracy McGrady and Yao Ming and the Rockets up 2-0. Another great fourth quarter shooting by Houston. A two-point Rocket win. They lead two games to none. For our crew here in Dallas, we send it back to our TNT studios and Ernie Johnson. Dallas got a have uh been on Tracy McGrady a little bit, but only in the fact that, hey, if you're going to be the guy, you got to do what he's done in these first two games. Well, I think there are a lot of players in the NBA who average a lot of points, but don't make an imprint on the game. He has put his imprint on the game. Any guy can come to the game, shoot it every time. Uh, and, and so there's one right notice when, and key possessions here. Dirk Nowitzki has Barry on him. There's no way he cannot get the basketball right here. And so once he gets it, I think the one of the things that they do Keep that on. It's open. Give it back to him and let him post up. He drives in the lane and experience right there. Throws it away. There's the one of the steals that you were talking about with James. Then the other play I, I noticed as well, the same thing. You have to get good shots and put the ball into the hands of guys who can get you open shots. You can get this shot at any time and more or less with 10 seconds on the shot clock. You can get it any time. But if you put the... All right, gents, to Houston. Roger Clemens taking in the action. The Rockets home after winning the first two games of the series in Dallas. Dirk trying to get out of his slump. Tracy McGrady trying to keep on doing what he was doing. Off the break, T-Mac to Ryan Bowen. Touch pass to Yao. The two-point game early on. Second quarter, Mavericks up five off the miss. Keith Van Orn grabs the rebound. Got tangled up with Dikembe. Turned his ankle. Watch it again. Van Horn lands funny on his left ankle. Nothing funny about it. He would not return. Mavericks up. 34-28. Here's Dirk. Steps in the lane. Gets it to go. More out of Nowitzki. Why not? Jumper. Gone. Then Jason Terry. Feeds Nowitzki for the lane. A take of the look. Finley sets your screen. Nowitzki's going to leave Bowen and McGrady. Little backdoor cut. 
for the lay-in from Jason Terry, making it look easy. Mavs led at the break, 54-49. Third quarter belonged to the Rockets. It's the NBA, and everybody makes a run. Tracy McGrady, the drive, tough lay-in. McGrady had 28 to one-point game. Rockets down three. McGrady driving the baseline to feed to Yao. Yao had 15. But the fourth quarter belonged to Dallas. Mavs were down six here. Off the break, Dirk, the dunk off the pass from Finley. Nowitzki had 28. Mavs are still down four. Michael Finley from three. Finley had 20. One point game. Nowitzki the drive, the miss, that's okay. Eric Dampier there with the finish. Dallas up three under four minutes left. Still a ball game until Jason Terry hits a three. He had 13. Mavs outscore the Rockets 28 19 in the fourth quarter to get back in the series. Dirk Nowitzki averaged 34.3 points per game against the Rockets during the regular season. You know, we had early Pacers win. Mavericks Rockers. Dirk hits the jumper over Tracy. That wasn't happening in the first two games of the series. Jason Terry connected, and the Mavs in the series. Who is just Porter Dirk Nowitzki at the buzzer? Dirk's first three of the series. Mavs up four at the end of one. Let's go to the third quarter. And Tracy McGrady throws down. T-Mac, 17 in the third. Rockets up by six. Fourth quarter. David Wesley here. Yao Ming there. 20 for Yao. Rockets up by five. Final six minutes. McGrady off the pick. 36 for T-Mac Saturday night. He drops this one down, and Dallas is still hanging around, though. Still in this thing on the road. Under two minutes left. That's Michael Finley right there. And Michael Finley would like the basketball, please. Dirk takes it out. Dallas by one. Finley, 8 of 13 shooting. Just over a minute to go. Finley knocks down another one. He had 18. It's a three-point Mavericks lead. So under 40 seconds to go now. Here's TNT's Kevin Harlan. Oh, Terry said, I knew it. it was good as soon as it left my hands. He scored a season-high 32, under 25 to go. McGrady out to David Wesley for three. So one point, Mavericks lead. Rockets have to foul, so cross your fingers, everybody. Hope for a miss. After he made the first, Jerry Stackhouse misses the second. There's your miss. Out of bounds, though, and it's Dallas basketball. Oh, hold on here, Tracy McGrady. Another look. You'll see Josh Howard poke the ball. The ball hits off T-Mac's right hand and then goes out of bounds. Looks like a good call. T-Mac, your thoughts? I got the rebound, and the, and the ball was just basically just knocked out of my hands. Uh, whether he's seen it hit me, I... Did it hit you? No, not at all. So it's Dallas possession. Rockets foul again. 6.1 to go. Dirk at the line. Knocks him down. He had eight. They'll go back to Dallas for game five Monday night. Greg Anthony and Tim Legler discuss. Steve, thanks. Well, again, it came down to the fourth quarter. You need other people to make plays. In the postseason, there's very little margin for error, and they basically played tight down the stretch, particularly Yao Ming. He had balls go through his hands, easy plays for him to make. He didn't make those plays. It's weak. You can't be weak in the playoffs. You need guys to step up and help your stars at critical times, particularly when you have golden opportunities the way that Yao Ming did. He didn't come through. <laughs> the playoffs and, and being bounced out of the first round. Um, you know, I've been in this league eight years, and uh, I, I think it's my time. You know, I'm with a good supporting cast, a good coaching staff, and uh, uh, I didn't get in the ball game. So, uh, you know, he, I always had the offense, but uh, in order for me to get on that, that basketball court when I, was, uh, when I was first fresh in the league, I had to play defense. It was Vince Carter's team, so um, he, he's brought that back to me. I kind of got away from that in Orlando because I became a scorer. And uh, I felt like it was, it was kind of tough for me to do both ends. But, you know, he, he's helped me realize that in order for me to be a great player and to win ball, uh, it's going to have, it's going to take uh, both of us to play like this. And, you know, he did a phenomenal job uh, on both ends. You know, he got a lot of pressure on him out there. He should have put you down. Were you surprised you didn't get hit? Uh, I didn't care because I went up strong. I didn't care what kind of contact I was going to get. That was the first thing I was thinking. I seen some, uh, Sean Bradley standing there, and I was hoping he was going to jump. And, uh, you know, that, that's a poster for my, my kids that, that they uh, see when, <laughs> when they do <doing> that. So, <laughs> uh, I, was, I, was <laughs> I was hoping he was going to jump. I didn't care what kind of contact because I knew that those guys was going to be physical tonight uh, if I brought the ball to the hole. But 
in this situation, man, it really doesn't matter how hard I get hit. I'm always going to get back well, up. Well, good luck. I know we got to go. But I want to say this to you before we go is that I did the same thing to Kevin Garnett. And what Charles is doing for you is trying to get you to this level because he knows. Yeah. That this is not a rub dunk. Unless. Oh, man. You know, unless you're Sean Bradley. Up and down your spine, though. Oh. Trying to turn his back, but he got flight making. Well, I don't know. He went over and then he 